Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video talking about the state of healing in World of Warcraft right now, just after this weekend where we had the MDI aired on Blizzard's Warcraft channel. If you're unfamiliar with the Mythic Dungeon International, this is a competition where teams try to run Mythic Plus keys for the fastest time possible. If you watch the broadcast, you probably already know this, but the teams there were running plus 23, plus 24 keys in dungeons like Galakron's Foe, Everbloom, Ataldazar, and they had no healer in the group. That's right, they had one tank and four DPS, sometimes one of the four DPS would be Augmentation Evoker, but some of the groups actually didn't have the support class either and had four pure DPS classes. Now, don't get me wrong, for me that was a lot of fun to watch because the teams had some very innovative techs in the dungeons and some of the runs were extremely fun to watch, but it raises the question, if they can do that at a plus 24 key, oh, why do we need healers at all in the game at this point? Right now, we are in season 3 of Dragonflight, almost at the end of it, and although it feels a little bit better to heal than season 2, I still think there's few problems in the game that needs to be addressed somehow, and MDI actually made them quite obvious. First, there are too many defensives in the game, and keep in mind that I'm talking strictly from the perspective of a person who bugs off his keys. And you're gonna say, well, why is it bad to have way too many and way too strong defensives? Well, I think that's one of the main reasons why healers are underrated this season. As obviously if everybody uses their defensives correctly, the healer is almost no needed, but at the same time, most of the fights are designed in such a way that if you don't use the defensives, it's actually almost impossible to heal them. I'm currently pushing keys in the range of a plus 24, which is obviously not very high compared to the highest keys in the world, and I have very hard time healing through some of the tyrannical bosses at that key level, so I tune into some streamer that runs plus 30s, which by the way obviously happens in an organized group, so I sit back to watch this boss fight that I cannot heal on a plus 24, knowing how much damage it does on a plus 24, I'm thinking, okay, there's no way they can heal to that on a plus 30, where the damage is going to be significantly more. So I'm sitting there watching, the damage starts, and the health bars do not even move. They coordinated their defensives and their externals in such a way that the healer almost doesn't even have to heal at a plus 30 and I have a lot of trouble healing that to a plus 24 where nobody cares about defensives and they, they have no coordination on when and how to pop them. And you can say, okay, well, coordinate your stuff better, although it's a bug, you can definitely do that, right? You can type into chat, make macros, etc. Yeah, but that it's not that easy in reality. Because when you go into a bug, you don't have the luxury to choose exactly what type of comp you're going to run. And classes in World of Warcraft are definitely not equal to each other. If you get, let's say, Enhancement Shaman for your DPS, they have only one defensive. It's also relatively long with a minute and a half cooldown, but then if you get Red Paladin, they have two defensives, each of them is one minute long, so they can pop something every 30 seconds. And on top of that, they have Sacrifice, which is external, they have Bubble, which is immunity, and they can lay on hand somebody to save them from dying. So, at the end of the day, those inequalities between classes make huge difference on the puck compositions and whether or not you're able to time a dungeon or not. Because as a healer, you're kind of relying on people using defensives, using group-wide defensives, and so on. And of course, you can always say, well, heal more. But even the amount that you heal for is different based on whether or not you have Augmentation Evoker in the group. In fact, that support class topic is a whole different agenda that we can take on a different video. And I'm personally not a fan of the Augmentation Evoker or the support class in general, but having one in your group brings so much defensive value and it brings so much increase in your stats and healing that that could be the difference between healing through a boss fight on Tyrannical that you can otherwise might not be able to. Not to mention that some of the classes in the game have off-spec healing that they can pop in certain moments and some simply do not. So at the end of the day, as you go into a dungeon as a healer, of course, big part of you timing the dungeon or not depends on your skill as a healer. 
And as the keys go higher, the skill cap also increases, but then something else also happens. The amount of healing that you provide becomes more and more insignificant, and it comes down to whether or not people are pressing their defensives, whether or not they're using their externals and group-wide damage reduction skills, and whether or not you have the right composition for a certain fight so you're able to survive at the end. And the point that I'm trying to get to here is that the game and the healing is going to be much more enjoyable if they just let the healers heal. Imagine a world where every class has one single defensive ability, which is going to be their all snap button things are going south, and all the crazy boss fights and mechanics in the games are revamped so the healers can actually heal through them and don't count on RNG, externals, group-wide DRs, or immunities. I know that that's probably a little bit too much to ask for, but what's next? Imagine a raid where there's no healers and it's just tank and DPS. How would that sound and how is that going to make the game look like? So I think the same should be true for Mythic Plus. If you're a healer and you go in to heal a key, you should be able to do that by yourself and not rely on other people's abilities that much. Because right now it's almost unbearable to do so if they don't, and if they do, you're kinda redundant and almost not needed. So do let me know in the comments below, do you currently enjoy healing or do you want to see some changes for the upcoming season, for the next expansion, etc. And do you agree with the points that I made in this video or you think that I'm just a big cry baby? Alright, so that's it for this video, go run some keys without healers cause that's a lot of fun, right? I'll see you guys in the next one, until then bye bye, take care and get out of here.